again Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. A very warm welcome to entire Sangat. This week, we are discussing on four ages. Last week, we talked about first age, first yug, which is Satyug. So this week, we will discuss the next yoga. Previously, we talked about in the Satyug, religion is sitting or religion in the throne, which has four legs. Leg of faith, contentment, sat and santok, nam japna, reciting his name, compassion is there. So in these four legs, religion was sitting. So if anyone or any person who is following these things, able to live his life according to these ways, so which means that person is in Satya. On the base of the world, from the birth of, we can say, humanity from the human, time has divided it into four parts. Guru Nanak Sahib, Guru Amar Das Ji, Guru Ram Das Ji, they also talked about it, about the four yugs, but they discussed they taught us from some different aspects of the same four yugas, although mentioned few of the same things, but how do we need to implement, how they are applicable in our day to day's life, that also Guruji told us. So Satyug had four legs, that's what we discussed. Satyug, Sat, Kahe, Sat, Koi, everyone was speaking truth. Satyug, Rath, Santokh, Ka. A lot of contentment was there, compassion was there, but yet it doesn't apply 100%. Harnakash also born in Satyuga. Pagat Prahlat, Pagat Ru, they also born in Satyuga, but still they faced some problems. So it is like there is a rule we can say. There is dominance of one specific quality. If most people have the same kind of thought, then we say this is a yoke, not 100%. As it happens in the elections, just now we had election here. So the one who won as president, he did not uh, get 100% votes, right? But still is a winner because he got around 70% votes. So the same thing in Satya Yuga, doesn't mean 100% people were so polite and compassionate. And in Kali Yuga, doesn't mean 100% people are cruel or they are just following or living with the bad deeds. So it depends on person to person. That's how Gurbani teaches us. So in Satya Yuga, it was religion stood up on the four feet. But then, Thought has changed. We can say that the one who is ruling, or we can say ruler has changed. So now we will talk the, about the next yuga. And yuga changes on our thoughts. The majority of the people are going in the same way in one specific quality. They are thinking in the, about the same thing. That's what we call you has changed. Not 100%, but majority. So on that basis, we can say even at the same time, different people, or we can say people are in the different yogas on the same date, on the same time. Right now in the world also, we can see we have different time zones. Even right now, maybe someone is behind, someone is far, someone is next to us, someone is still, we may say like they are far. In the same way, yugas are, all the four yugas are always there. But majority of the people, thought of majority of the people decides the name of the yuga. So yuga, 
also we are discussing on two aspects. One is outer world. One, we are discussing about maturity of the people. How does you change outside in the world? As we say now, it is a Kaljuk. Before that, it was Dwapar, Treta, Satyuk. But this is a one of aspect from outer sight. Another is every person is individual. One may be in Satyuga till today. Maybe one in Dwapar or Treta. So what are the demerits? What are the points? How can we know ourselves or other in which you are we right now? Individual, if we say. Majority on the basis of majority, definitely we are in the Kali Yuga. But every person is in different yuk. So let's try to figure out where are we? We just need to look at ourselves. Then we may decide on the basis of symptoms, on the basis of qualities that Guruji has described. Then we can see in which yuk I am I and how can I recover? How can I come out of it? How can I be the one with the Bhaiqa? So, Trite Rath Chataika Jor Agai Rathabao. Earlier, we talked about Satyuga. Satyuga Rath Santokaka Taram Agai Rathabao. Want to follow the path of religion on the basis of contentment. He was in the Satyuga. Trite Rath Chataika. So, in the Trita, there are three legs of religion. In Satyuga, there were four. Treta means three. So now in Treta, there are three legs. In Dwapar, there are two legs. In Kaliyuk, religion has just one leg that we'll discuss in upcoming sessions too. Treta Rath Chataika. Jor Agai Rathva. Guru Nanak Sahib, this line is in Asa Ki Bar. So on this Rath, of Jata. One is Rat, one is Ratvao. The one those who are taking the Rat, Jimmy Kode ne Rat, Lake Jare. So, on which basis, what kind of thought a person has, then we can say he's in Treta. Or what happened in the Treta? Both things apply, individual and based on the history. Jor Agaratva. Jor means power. I need more and more power. If we need more power, which means we need our dominance. If I need my dominance, if one needs his dominance, he will be cruel. Jor Agaratva. We just want more and more power. Jada to Jada Takat, Zor, power. And more power. In the search of more power, a person becomes cruel as well. As we have seen in the history, World War I, World War II, the main thing, the main reason was, key factor was power. Just wanted to have more power. Wanted to rule more and more. And that's how colony system started or went up to World War I or two. More power. Who is more powerful? So although these things happen in the Kali Yuga, but if we see from Gurbani point of view or from the qualities or the symptoms, then they happen because of Satyuga things, Treta Yuga things. So person who is just looking for more and more power, his aim of the life to get, have maximum power, is ready to be cruel, ready to kill people, ready to do anything just to have more power, which means he has the dominance of Treta on himself. That's what was happening in the Treta. Kings were just fighting, kings were just trying to get more and more power and Lot of lots of people were killed during that time just because of these things. Even 
historian, philosophers, writers believes there were more reasons behind the, all the fightings of the world. Jar, Jameen, and Joru. Jar, power. Jameen having maximum land within for me. Joru means a woman, a lady. So Jar is the first thing they mentioned. The maximum reason. Jar, Jameen, Joru. They start from Jar. Three reasons behind all the fightings. Although when Guru Gobind Singh Ji came, or we see in the Sikhism, in Guru Sahib's life, then they introduced the fourth reason as well. Fighting can be done to save people, not to kill people. Fighting can be done to save humanity, to save a lady, to save people, to save country, to fit, save community. A lot of things. Then fourth thing was introduced. But before that, all the writers believed there were only three reasons and the first reason or the main reason was Jar having more and more power. And that's how even day to day's life, because of the Jor, a lot of problems arises in the family as well. Husband wants more power. Sometimes wife wants more power. Sometimes a kid wants more power. They just want to dominate someone. They just want to say, okay, I am the powerful person. You are lower than me. I can con control you. If we have that kind of mentality to controlling the people, if we have that kind of mentality, I must have the power. I'm ready to be more and more cruel. And power we are using to just not for the benefit of someone, just to show our ego. So, if we have that kind of thought or anyone have that kind of thought, although he's in Kali Yuga, which means he is in Treta Yuga. And one of the thoughts that I found on internet, the desire for power was a key motivator for many of the leaders who were involved in the wars. So just that desire because of power because of chor that arise, that made leaders more and more cruel. They just thought about themselves and it was more and more harmful for normal people life. So in the cruelty, in the power, then people don't follow any law. They just do whatever they want to do. That is why we see in the Treta Yoga, there was an avatar which is Shri Ram was born. And he is known as a Mariyada Pushota. Mariyada means telling them the rules and regulation, how to live your life, which means they were not aware about it. They were more cruel. They were just doing anything just to get some power, more and more power. So the avatar of Treta Yoga is known as a Shri Ramji. And he is also known as an Mariyada Pushottam. Mariyada means code of conduct. Mariyada means rules and regulation. Mariyada means way to live your life. So he was teaching how should you behave? How should you live? So which means people were not aware. If someone is taking medicine, which means he is not well. That is why medicine is needed. A person went to see doctor, which means he is not well. Most of the times, if he's taking some medication, which means he need it. So, Mariyata Purushottam, so in his entire life, he just tried to set the rules. How should a king live? What is the rules for the king? What is the way of life of a human person, normal person? What is the life of other persons? So, he just tried to give more and more rules. Because in the cruelty, we don't follow any rule. Even in Sikhism, we have Sikh Rahat Mariyada. Mariyada means rules, which is known as a code of conduct. So, code of conduct, Mariyada. Sikhi way of life, even we have a book here, CHEB, Sikhi way of life. So, way of life, we need it. So, 
code of conduct is much needed to make our life on a better scale. So that's what happened in the Treta as well. So in the Treta, Treta means religion have had just three legs. So did it fall? And because it lost its one leg, that also we'll discuss what was that one leg. Actually, religion did not fall. Even although with one of these flaw, even if we have, still we can recover. That is kind of some positive message. And we have just the dominance in our us. We just want to control the people. We just want to micromanage the people. We just want everything should be under my hand, which means I'm in Treta, but still we can, religion could able to stand. How and what was lost, Guru Amar Das is helping us to understand, telling us. Treta ik kal kini dur. In the treta, one thing went far. What was that? Pakhand vartya har janan dur. Treta ek kal kini dur. Pakhand vartya har janan dur. So Pakhand was started and Hari went so far. Lord was so far. But it was just a pakhand, like if it, people were just trying to look good, trying to look calm, trying to look, but they were not doing it. So what is the meaning of pakhand? Pakhand is a copy of original thing. Whatever I am trying to show, I am not the same person, which means pakhand. Whatever I am seeing. I'm not the same person, which means Pakhand. Whatever I'm saying, my thoughts are, my actions are, but I'm just lying, which is Pakhand. Guruji helps us to understand more. Bahar Pakhand. If I'm just doing from outside, from with my body. Bahar, if it is something just outwardly, that is called Pakhand. Bahar Pakhand. Pakhand. Sab karam kare. All good deeds he is doing. From outer, maybe he's doing some seva, doing some donations, speaking some good words, sharing some good thoughts. But man hirita kapat kamar. In the heart, just fraud is going on. Maybe I'm helping someone because of any XYZ reason, not because. I feel I must help. Or in any another. Most of the time, we do some good things. Also, there is some reason. That is the definition of tyag, as we discussed a few weeks before about tyag also. So, man hirita kapat kamai. In the mind, in my heart, in my thought, I'm still doing all the bad activities, but just trying to pretend. That is called Pakhand. So that is a, one of the symptoms of Treta Yuka. Pakhand Vartya Har Janandu. So Hari went so far. Because Jinman Hor Mukh Hor Se Kande Kachya. Then Hari goes far. With Pakhand, we can impress people, but not God. So that's what introduced in Treta Yuga. Then Guru Nanak Sahaji also told us more about it. Treta hai taram kala ik chuki. Taram di kala, art of religion, art of taram. One thing was missing. How? Then what was that? Teen charan, three feet, ik dubida, Suki. Then dubida means duality, shock, doubt. So in Satya Yoga, there was a faith on God. In Trete, we have a shock on God, doubt. So now no more faith. We are just living in doubt. That's what Guru Nanak Sahib told about Treta. Team Charan, 
it could do with our suitcase. So we just have shock. We just have doubt. We have duality. What will happen? Will this happen? Is it good or is it bad? We're just trying to judge Lord now. So if that kind of thoughts are there, which means, again, we are in Trita Yuga. Guru Ramdas Ji. Trita Yuga. Now he's sharing us more symptoms that we can think at or look at ourselves on our actions, on our thought. Are we doing it? If yes. So which means we fall into the trap of Treta Yuga. Treta Yuga Aya Antar Jor Paya Jat Sanjam Karam Kamare Ji so in the power, one another thing has introduced. Jat Sanjam, Jat, he may become celibacy, he may leave his family, he may not get married, but also he may leave his family, he may kill his family. A lot of things has happened related to it. Jat Sanjam Karam Kamayaji, because he need more and more power, so for that, he may leave his family as well, or he may not take care of family, or he may not go into that. That is also one of the thing about Trita Yuga. Jat Sanjam Karam Kamare Chiyo. So that was also happened. Guru Nanak Sahib also went to meet Jogis, Siddhas, told them, Kaun Jagat Pa Parantara. If you are sitting here, who will take care of the world? Who will take care of our people? Who will take care of society, community, humans? So one of the things in Trita Yuga, he needs more and more power. And for the power, he may kill, he may leave, or he may just sacrifice his family, or he may not build any family. Because he's completely concentrated on the power. Pag chotha khisya, tre pag tikya, man hirdeh, krodh jalaya jiyo. Now it is not easy to get more and more power. There is a lot of challenge. Pag chotha khisya, tre pag tikya. So one feet has lost, now religion is on three path. But the person who is in treta, that still applicable. Maybe any of us could be in Treta, could be in Dwapar, Kalju, Satyuk. Man hirdai krodh jalai. Then he will become more and more angry as well. Because if he is not able to get that power, then he will become angry. Why I am not able to reach it? Why I am not able to reach that level? I just need it. Man hirdai krodh jalaj. So he will become an angry person. He need more power. He may sacrifice his family for the power only. And he will be become an angry person on very small things, on every second sentence. He may get angry, even without reasons. Man hirdai krodh mahabis nor nirpata vahe laduk paya. Man hirdai krodh. What will happen in the heart, in the mind, just burning. Anger is there, flame is there, it's just burning. Fire is there. Maha bis lord. Bis is vishta. Bish is vish. Vish means poison. Zahar. Lord is one kind of a flower, one kind of a tree, which is like red or white kind of tree. It is known as in like poison tree. So this lord. So red colors, poison tree. That's what the example is it has given. Man hirida krod maham bisamot. So in the heart, in the mind, so much anger. And it is actually poison for others. Nirpatabhe Ladatukha. 
So Nir Tab. Nir means Raja. Nir means King. So in Treta Yuga, people, kings were just fighting. Nir Tab. They were just fighting. People were getting killed. They were getting harmed. They were also getting killed. So because of it, everyone is just obtaining the pain of everywhere. The reason behind was just if someone needs our dominance, my dominance, I am here, I am the power. So that is the biggest problem when someone is looking for more and more power, so which means he is in Preta. Antar Mamta Rogalagana, how may Angar Badaya? Guru Ramdas Ji explains us more about the Treta Yuga. Antar Mamta Rogalaga, inside attachment, how may Angar Badaya? So, on that basis, there is more and more ego, more and more Angar that is just keep on increasing. Arrogance, ego. So that is just on the increasing and increasing and increasing. So if someone has fallen into this trap, if someone's life begins like this, but still there is a way to come out, what do we need to do? How can we come out? Har har kripa tari mere thakur. Har har kripa tari mere thakur. Bikh gurmat har naam leh chai chiyo. Bikh zahar. Poison. Teta jug aya antar jor paya jata samjam karma kamar chiyo. So in, even if someone is in the treta yuk, there is a lot of jor inside. Now, jor could be in a different aspects. Like even if someone is just trying to control our vices, that is also a jor. Power. Power is just trying to control his own mind, not other people. That is also one way of jor. So, Guru is telling us in, from that, side, that aspect as well. Jinwa si manjita jagjit. If you want to control someone, if you want to put rule someone, then why about other people? Why not yourself? Because we are actually also a slave of our mind, our thoughts. Manade asi gulama. So we may rule other people. Kings were able to, but still the dominance was of on mind was there. If you want to control, then control your mind. Try to control that part. Now, thing is, how do we do that? So for that, we need someone more powerful who can help us to come out from Treta Yuga. A person who is not in the Treta Yuga. A power who is not in the Treta Yuga. He can help us. Har Har Kripa Tari Mere Thakur By the grace of Vahegur Bikha Gurmat Har Naam Lahe Chayach So by the Gurmat By following Guru's guidance And what is the Guru's guidance is Har Naam Lahe Chayach Hari Da Naam Japna Kamma vicho mahan kam hai. The greatest deed that a person can do is reciting his name. How can we come out? If you are just reading books or listening some good talks or going somewhere, until unless we are not doing it, it's very difficult to come out. We need to put some efforts. Hurry now. What is the solution? If I'm just looking for more power, if I fall in the trap of this celibacy, basi, or all other different aspects. So there is one medicine and that is Guru Smart. By the grace of Guru, don't use your mind, take Guru's mind. That's what we do 
when we go to Gurudwara. The first activity that we perform is to go down. Asi matha take So matha tekna is again the same thing. We are putting our head next to Guruji. Guruji to see apani mat dao. Meri mat thori rao. Meri mat thori hai. To hari da naam leye. Hari da naam japiye. Now we are trying to control the poor, more and more people. Then we will try to control our vices. Je ladna hi hai, je control karna hai, asi apne vikara nu kariye. So in that way we can come out of the Treta Yuga. So this is kind of a Treta Yuga when there is a no faith, when we are just looking for more power, when a one is always in the anchor, ready to leave the family and always just think about I. But from all those vices, Hari the Naam is a solution. Hari Naam Yo, what do we need to do? There is a one solution. Still we can do. Doesn't matter in which yoga we are. So Sahai Har ko naam. So Hari the Naam Jeda hai. O Sahara hai. Hari the Naam hi Jeda hai. O solution hai. So that's what we discussed today. So Treta Yuk is a Treta means three. Three legs of religion. Symptoms is man needed more and more power, which means we are in Treta. If we have that kind of thoughts, we need to tackle it. Because it will lead us to more and more duality. And another aspect is if there is no faith on Vahiguru, we have a shak. And it starts from these ways. If these thoughts are started coming in our mind, then we need to take the shelter of now. These are the starting points. That will lead to duality and all other bad voices. But starts from when we have just desire to control the people or whenever we have starting with the doubt on the guru. If there is doubts are coming in our mind, which means we are falling into the trap of treta. If we are trying to control the people, if we are not able to stop ourselves at that point, then slowly or maybe quickly, we will become more dual as well, which means a lot of more good values and virtues we will lose. So we need to look at our, ourselves. Are we falling into these traps or not? But yet, even if we are not falling into it, yet we need name, yet we need now, yet we need reciting need to recite his name to save us to fall in the trap of treta yuga so this is a treta means which have the three legs then we will discuss dwapar which have two legs and that also we'll discuss next and after that we'll discuss about the kaljuga as well and on about kaljuga guruji says this is the best religion actually normally we read uh, Kaljuga is a bad, but whenever we read Gurbani, Guruji says Kaljuga is the best religion, best yuga. Satyuga, Treta, Dwapar, Paniya, Kaljuga, Uttamo, Yuga, Mahi. Although a lot of bad things are going to happen in Kaljuga, how can we find, how can we identify someone or we are in Dwapar or Kaljuga, or how can we come out of it? that we will discuss in our upcoming sessions so would request you so kindly join us in the next upcoming lecture as well there we will discuss more about it now i would like to request to entire sangat so kindly share your point of view kindly share your suggestions so what do you think what are our take home messages and how can we implement or how can we save ourselves in following the trap of these yugas so now request to the entire Sangat, kindly share your point of view. I'm giving the option you can unmute yourself by which. And thank you again for joining, for listening, for giving your precious time. Guru Sahib Ji, Sarayati Kirpa Garaj Ji, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khasa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fatih Ji.
जी यू कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ सात्संगा जी यू कैन शेयर एनीथिंग व्हाट एवर यू थिंक व्हाट आर आवर टेक होम मैसेजेस और एनीथिंग दैट यू वुड लाइक टू कंट्रीब्यूट जी हां जी हां जी हरदीप जी वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर समथिंग जी हां जी वाई गुरु जी का खालसा वाई गुरु जी की फतेह I did not uh, listen to pre previous week's lecture, but I'm just wondering whether these yugs are also referring to our frame of mind, and not only the era, the era in which we live. Of course, the era has changed a lot because there was a like a different way of life in the early days, and then it has changed. and now is even changing more with the use of uh, digital things phones and etc smartphones bagera so the times are changing a lot but i don't know today's treta yuk seems uh, to say a lot of uh, negative um negative uh, issues was there no any um, positive issues positive hani लाइक सो more is uh, about uh, negative aspect if we discuss about treta if someone is in treta which means he is more into uh, like because his path has changed to whom what we are saying yoga has changed or if he is in treta it's not only the era it is our mindset but if someone yeah. is wants to control people only He is ready to leave his family. Ready to leave his sacrifice. He is ready to sacrifice his entire family and everything. So, which means there are a lot of bad things. But good can come if he can recite his name. Then he can use the same power to control his mind rather than controlling other people. So now that energy is going on the wrong path. But if he is ready to recite his name, anyone. then the same energy will go for the positivity rather than controlling other people then he will start controlling his own vices rather than controlling on other humans he will start or trying to control his own mind rather than controlling other people's mind so that negativity can turn into the positivity of the treta yuga that energy but for that we need to change our energy change our direction for that kurbani will help so these are the two aspects actually basic meaning of treat is trying to control other people but with the norm we will try to control our man to whom we say man chita jab chi so basic point is definitely it is about negative but how to be positive for that norm will be helpful theek so, hai thank you ji thank you very much for your question thank you ji thank you हाँ जी एनी अदर संगम मेंबर जी हु लाइक टू आस्क और शेयर समथिंग जी हां जी हां जी पाल जी वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर समथिंग अम वाई गिव जी का खालसा वाई गिव जी की फतेह जी uh thank you for a wonderful lecture on treta yug ji i was um, i was just deeper in meditation looking at the shabads of treta yug uh in the siri guru granth sahib ji sorry for the delay in uh, unmuting i think what i also learned and to to look at the question hardeep ji asked about the positivity i think treta yug also spoke a lot about uh the the concept of langar sangat and pangat uh if we look at all the shabads on treta yug it it somehow gives me that impression uh 
so as I spoke last week about the 10 good points of Satyug, maybe the 10 good points of Treta Jug that I understand. Um, number one will be the idea of charitable acts, the idea of langar uh, associated with feast and giving the act of giving itself. And if today we can learn to practice this charity, then I think all the social inequalities can go away. We can elevate those suffering uh, um, in, in need all over the world. Number two, related to this will be the Sangat and Pangat, like I mentioned, which is community bonding. So I think that's something very positive from Teta Juk we can learn, that the idea of coming together, cohesion comes in within our community. It is a sense of togetherness. And in our modern, often fragmented society, like you mentioned, uh, we coming together, I think, for a communal meal that can promote a lot of... Um, May I say unity? May I say stronger relationships between our community? So I think that's a number two lesson. Number three talks about empathy and compassion. Because when I give something, I have to give it from my heart. So these values are today very important. I think compassion uh, to create a kinder and more caring world. And number four, you can see everywhere, you know, uh, they always say it's global warming, but hunger is becoming a big problem. So number four, I think in a world where hunger and food insecurities persist, the practice of all these treta jugs of charitable fees uh, will remind us on the importance of addressing this pressing issue and support initiatives to combat uh, hunger and global warming and change. Number five, I think it's also related to what we call cultural preservation because Treta Yug traditions like, uh, you know, this communal feast can be seen as a cultural heritage that we have. We can preserve this, celebrate these traditions in Sikhi of Langar also and it can maintain a connection of uh, cultural roots. Now, if you look at the recent uh, World Parliament of Religion that happened in New York, was it New York? No, in one other part of America, I forgot last month. And I tell you something, uh, the, the speakers always came back from many other religions talking about the langar that the Sikh community has been giving in every world parliament. So I think this is a very good lesson. Number six talks about promoting inclusivity. You know, when you talk about everyone sitting, uh, you hear the saki of uh, Babur, was it, who came to see Guru Amar Das Ji, right? Even he had to sit with the common man. So inclusivity comes in and I think today if we can understand and adopt this, then our diversity and our social acceptance will be something that we can learn from Teta Jug. And I'll end off with the last uh, three short points. Number seven is what we call joy of sharing. Our Christian friends always talk about Christmas is the joy of giving. I think sharing is what we learn and incorporating this in our lives today. I think happiness will come the more we give to others. And I think the, the other thing you talked about, ego, I think it is very related to materialism and our Maya Karantawi that Murak Log Ajan. So I think Treta Jug also uh, encourages us to shift our priorities away from Maya materialism towards the act of generosity and selflessness, not selfishness, because Satgur ki seva, safal hai jeko kare chit lai, and which dunya sev kamaye ta darge basen paye, and that links me to the the last two points of fulfillment through service, Jai Seva Karange, we will have a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose. And if we have, uh, I, I can call it a service-oriented mindset, then I think our lives will be very meaningful and rewarding, not only here, but Darge Besan Paya means even in the life here after, we'll have a place in heaven. And I think the last point I want to end off with um, is that it is all about building trust. When we talk about all these things that we learn from uh, Treta Juk, there were wars, you are right, the three reasons for the wars, and then the fourth one came from when Sikhi Guruji's came about. But it, it, it is a sign of the fragile world we are living in, and I think we can mend all our social bonds and build stronger, more supportive community and uh, communities, I can say, and have a compassionate, inclusive, and meaningful existence, uh, both as an individual and a collective community, if we learn these lessons of learning. Langar, Sangat, and Pangat uh, from Teta Jug. So I thank you so much for this opportunity to share. Uh, Pul Chukdi Mafi, Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh Ji. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh Paal Ji. Thank you very much for sharing your wisdom, for sharing your points, and uh, I really appreciate your efforts. And the king who went to Guru Amar Das Ji, he was uh, 
Akbar, uh, not Babar. Babar was at Guru Nanak Sahib this time, and Akbar was at uh, Third Guru Guru Amar Das Ji Sahib this time. So thank you very much for your valuable contribution, Pals. Really appreciate. It. <laughs> Sorry, I got my emperors wrong. Thank you, Ji, for the no, clarification. Thank you, Ji. Anji, any other single member, Ji, would like to share something, Ji? Anji, Kuldeep, Ji, would you like to share something? Why good Jika Kalsa? Why good Jiki? But yes, uh, a difficult concept to understand, but gradually I hope you can put me, tell me if I'm wrong, that what I am trying to understand from these four yoga, what they are. Okay, last week we did the Satya Yoga which is where Guruji wants us to be that ideal human being, balanced, standing on four legs, very stable, with all the wonderful properties that a human sh being should have. Now, if one of these properties is gone, and that is uh, ego, ego sets in. Then we become very power hungry, we become dangerous, we become cruel, we become uh, inhuman, okay? And that is a characteristic which Guruji is trying to remind us about, you know? That evilness inside us, which stems from ego, power, mamta, Meh, and things like that. So it's equivalent, this characteristic, this lack of this uh, uh, characteristic from the Satyog. In Treta, once we have missed that one leg, we become unbalanced. And I think Gurbani is trying to make us aware, you know, that these, this is something in us which can be uh, what shall we say, detrimental, and how can we overcome this ego, this bad trait within ourselves? And that can only happen if we begin to dwell upon Wahe Guru, if we begin to have Nam in our hearts, and then this ego, this power, this inhumanity can be replaced by love and uh, humbleness, it will make you a better person, like a person in Satya Yoga. Am I right in trying to understand it in this way? That's very beautifully explained, actually. I really loved it. <laughs> so thank you very much. So exactly that's what you're trying to understand and the way you summarize and mention. So really amazing. Yeah, I think the verse, the quotes you gave were very, very uh, beautiful. On three legs, we are unbalanced. And we become very cruel, we become very inhuman, we become very unbalanced human beings for ourselves and as well as for everybody around us. You know, Ukraine war this you know desire for power, this desire for control, this desire to be top is causing so much of misery, so much of death, so much of cruelty, you know? So this is the result when your mind is replaced with goodness and you forget the Lord, and this is the result after that, you know? So uh, that's how I'm trying to interpret this Treta Yoga. 
where you have lost this connection with Vaheguru. And the only way to balance yourself, to overcome this bad trait, is to start dwelling upon Vaheguru and start remembering him. Okay? Okay. Thank you. That's my takeaway from today's lecture. I think Holly, Holly, I'm trying to begin to understand. You know, Chari Yoga Keys, and they were historical periods as well because of the dominance of those traits at that time. And gradually, how people changed, and then one by one, all the good values got eroded, and then you landed up in Kali Yoga. So, relating it to an individual person, it would mean that. You know, the lesson for us is that we must be balanced. We must be uh, God-fearing. We must have compassion, daya, santo, contentment, all the ideal requirements to be a stable person, like Satya Yoga person. Thank you, Ji. Thank you very much, Kaliji. Very beautifully you summarized, actually. In the today's lecture in just a few minutes and uh, yes, that's what our take home message is and really appreciate your contribution and making this lecture more understandable and more meaningful for all of us. So really appreciate your contribution to the first. Thank you, Ji. Thank you, Ji. Anji, uh, iPhone, Katie, I cannot read your name. So Anji, you are unmuted. Would you like to contribute something, Ji? Uh, yes, I would. Uh... For me, uh, like what I'm getting today is um, the yugas could be something to do with only internal nature. I mean, I'm not going to touch the external time frame. For example, like um, dharma is the innate nature of consciousness. When we are in total alignment with the God's will, you know, like when a child when the fetus or the womb or a toddler, their life is totally running by the biological clock. But as a child grows and he realizes separatedness like mine and yours, and he starts to exert power to claim uh, his identity with sibling fights, with expressing self and choices and um, like um, winning becomes a satisfying trait and it starts to manipulate parents, starts to enter physical fights. See, um, so the power of hormones start to take over. And the, the consciousness about self uh, and the love and the attraction towards opposite sex happens as one go grows towards teenage uh, age. So the celibacy and discipline becomes the key to control at that point. So when one drops the natural flow uh, and the power of hormones start to affect the mind flow and the kings start to fight for wars and uh, want to win over others. To me, like it also seems like this could be one of the aspects of you guys. I don't know whether I'm right or wrong, but um, this is what I'm getting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kamalji, really appreciate the way you showed us that one completely different aspect of the same yoga. So, but uh, really appreciate. Thank you very much for sharing your views. So, that could be one of the things like how do we need to take care of. So, a different way of interpretation or different way of looking at it. But thank you very much for sharing it with all of us. Anji, any other Sangal member ji wants to share, contribute something ji? Uh, thank you very much once again to the entire Sangha. So before we end up, I would just like to request you again. So this Saturday, we don't have morning class or evening class as well. So this Saturday, we have this special in-person dialogue session starting from 4 to 5.30. Topic is, do we need religion? So I would request you all, those who are from Singapore, so kindly mark your calendars and Please join us on this session and you may bring your friends and family along with yourself. There's no prior registration is needed. So you're most welcome. So feel free to join us. Jay. Now I would say, so kindly unmute yourself. Let's say good fatigue together. 
ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਂਝੇ ਰੂਪ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਤੇ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾਈਏ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਨ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਗੁਣ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਗਰ ਇੱਧਰ ਉੱਧਰ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਦੈਨ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਕਨਸੀਕਵੈਂਸਿਸ ਮੇ ਆਰਾਈਵ ਇਨ आवर ਲਾਈਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨਾਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੋੜੀ ਰੱਖਣ ਜੀ ਆਓ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਪਤੇ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾਣਾ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਓਕੇ